Well, Kentucky's Lieutenant Governor made a stop in Hebron today. She was in our area asking voters not to vote for Amendment 2, a proposed change to the state's constitution. Yeah, the amendment asks voters if they will allow the General Assembly to provide tax dollars towards non-public schools. WCPO 9 News reporter Sam Harasimowicz shows why each side of the issue is asking you to head to the polls next month. Kentucky's Lieutenant Governor telling a crowd that she wants Amendment 2 to get voted down. A vote for Amendment 2 is a vote to give a blank check to the General Assembly. But Republican lawmakers say Amendment 2 is something else entirely. This amendment will allow parents to decide where their tax dollars go for their child's education. This is the exact language Kentucky voters will see on the ballot November 5th. Republican State Representative Stephen Doan said the amendment wouldn't change any programs. It would open the door for future changes. What would that look like? What would that be? We don't know yet. Doan said that school choice is a way to make sure every student is taken care of in their own way. Our public school system doesn't always address every student where they are. Lieutenant Governor said by keeping money in public schools, it means more inclusion for all kids. I want that for every kid, not just certain kids, not just kids who look a certain way, um, practice a certain faith, have a certain income. I want that for every kid in Kentucky. I asked the superintendent of the Catholic schools in the Diocese of Covington about criticisms of inclusion in private schools. Uh, our schools for decades have been serving students with disabilities. Students who come from disadvantaged backgrounds, uh, maybe socioeconomic disadvantages. Uh, we have schools in our diocese that that is our specific mission, is to serve families from those situations. A mother who's against the amendment told me her biggest fear is that public schools are already in need. So if you take what little bit of funds are dedicated to our public education system right now, you are going to con continue and exacerbate the education deserts that you've already created in our state. The lieutenant governor said her work is focused on protecting what resources public schools have. The issue is not the private school itself. The issue is taking public dollars from public schools and sending them to private schools that play by a different set of rules. The issue will play out when Kentuckians cast their ballot in just a few weeks. Reporting from Northern Kentucky, Sam Harris-Samowitz, WCPO 9 News.